This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. The red zone has always been for immediate <laughs> loading and unloading of passengers. Oh, you're not luring no me in this No stopping in the white zone. It's, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you're not luring me in this time. <laughs> uh, don't start with your white zone shit again. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Quest for Glory, uh, I, I, trial by fire. <laughs> yes, hello everyone 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 <laughs> Everyone, and welcome back to Trial by Fire. Man, right, Luke, right, Luke and... picked the wrong week to stop sniffing blue. <laughs> <laughs> Are we, uh, do we have any viewers named Wani? Wani? Is... I don't that's, think so. That's short I for... I mean, we might. That's short for Juanita, right? Juani? Is it? I, I guess. Don't... Or Nita. Nita would be the better way to go for that. But, you know, yeah. you never know. In a world where we can have, like, uh, Tophers... <laughs> instead of Chris's. <laughs> we, we can That's definitely... true. In this world full of Tophers and Hawakims. <laughs> and awesome Spider Man sequels. A... Yeah. Hell yeah. We can definitely have a Juani. If your name is Juani, get a get a hold of us. Mm. It could also be short for Wanifred. Yep. Yeah. Or Wanifer. Wanifer. <laughs> or Or Yennefer? <laughs> Jennifer. Uh, hi, hey, how you guys doing? You hanging in there? It's quite... I'm hanging in there. I'm 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 just hanging in there. Just? Oh yeah, like yeah, New, yeah, New Zealand, eh? You guys got uh, you guys got some new. I don't think we can say the money word. If you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The money word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you you guys have a you guys have a special. Uh, problem that has reemerged. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Um we thought yeah. it was gone. We started ignoring it and yeah. now it's back. Now it's back. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know, that's it's going to happen like everywhere. So, like so many STDs. Yep. Mm. Yeah, we 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 tried that whole don't test, see what happens, it might go away. Didn't happen. Flare up. I get it. Yeah. Did not work as expected, huh? Did not no. work as as uh, advertised. No. You guys, uh, you guys, ready for some questions for glory? Questions for glory! glory questions glory! for glory! I hope your th your throat's not getting too scorched. Scarine. Yes. Scarine. Okay. I, I counted out five scarine lengths, uh, and now I'm. I'm hoping that that was correct. I, it appears to be wrong, though. This appears to be completely wrong. Yeah, I'm going to have to okay. go back to the dervish and, and re-listen to what he had to say. Well, that's fine. You know, we'll, we'll spend the day dervish. trying to find the, uh, the beast. Why not? Yep. So let's get some questions for Glory while oh. I uh, wander around the desert. Oh. Yep, yep. The real Thanks. seekers. <laughs> says yes if a sierra main whoa character happened to have a side job as a pitch person for a real life product what product would that be and how would you imagine it playing out keith robinson cigarettes mobile yeah. light <laughs> or rothmans yeah yeah that guy oh rothmans <laughs> okay oh what kind? What kind did? Uh, what kind did mom and dad used to smoke? Uh, oh, Andrew. um, Port it, depends, it, it depends what era we're talking. Circa what? the mid, circa the mid '80s. Uh, I believe that uh, dad used to smoke number sevens, and uh, mom used to smoke <laughs> Craven A Kings. <laughs> that's, wow, that's, that's a great uh, recollection. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I enjoyed the Craven A. Kings myself, as I was only six years old at the time. Yeah, uh, when you're really, you really get to know the uh, the, uh, the 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 different soupçons of smokes uh, <laughs> when you are when you're taking in all that uh, secondhand smoke as a child. 
Yeah, I, I, I have never smoked a cigarette in my life, but I can tell the uh, I, I can I can tell different brands apart from the uh, time I spent in university in Japan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the uh, American Cap- and the Canadian ones are definitely uh, very different from each other. Captain Fletcher what? Hall, Preparation H. Mm. Not Baskin Robbins. Not ice cream. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm, true. My bad. That- that guy was a huge fan. He, he just, why not both? He just seems really angry, so I figure. You know. Well, he's always angry, but it's his ice cream makes him calm. Yeah. You know. Okay, five to the west of Shapir and two screen lengths north of here. Okay, so and let's take a look at our compass. Look, compass. Okay. Oh, so... north is down. Yeah. She How intuiting. She chose down. Uh, uh, King Graham can't sell anything. He's not a salesman. Uh, he, he'd end up giving you money. Yeah. I, I think, <laughs> I think uh, that's definitely true. I think uh, uh, John. Oh. <laughs> I think he could sell. Uh, I heard he likes video games. <laughs> what is the name of the Commander of- John Westland selling Com- Pong? Commander John Westland. Uh, I I like to sell Sega Genesis. <laughs> I like video games. <laughs> you know like my, to, to unwind. In my line of work, I need to unwind, but I want to unwind in the most intense way possible. You're not going full <laughs> Christian Bale in uh, in Batman like you did uh, when we actually played the game. <laughs> what's, the, what's the name of his superior who sounds like Christopher Walken? Oh, Captain be, something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> he, he, he would need to be the salesman. Uh, he, yeah, that Cap- guy. Captain Hawkins, I believe. Captain Hawkins? Yeah, he would, uh, he got a pretty heavy concussion. It's true. He fell down a ladder. Wow. Wasn't for my medical insurance. Damn. I'd be dead. (laughs) When you're in a submarine, your (laughs) medic alert bracelet doesn't work that well. Ladders. Wow. Ladders. Wow. (laughs) Patrick. Fuck Patrick. I took out life insurance. Damn. I'm glad I did. There. I love it. Perfect. Perfect. Oh shit! Oh no! This guy. It's this over. is the guy. This is the guy that's gonna beat us. Never mind. <laughs> this I didn't is the even one. Search the body of the last one that we fought. I just left him to bleach in the sun with his <laughs> uh, wallet intact. <laughs> I just what love how they totally pancake. What? Are, <laughs> what is the motivation of these guys? I don't know. Well, they're brigands. Their motivation is kill you and. Potentially take your money, I guess. They're not particularly smart. They can't win. Has no. Any, has anyone it is ever high played, risk, high reward. Has <laughs> anyone ever played Back to the Future Two on Sega Master System? I have not. N- no. Every, everybody attacks you. Every citizen. It, there is no motivation at all. You, you're on your I skateboard, s- and everyone comes for oh, you. Jesus. I seem to remember uh, from the movie Back to the Future Two. That that was a real problem. <laughs> <laughs> when Marty was like, "That's what. That's scrambling. why they left the future." <laughs> yeah, 2015, man. Watch out, everybody's an asshole. <laughs> oh well. But I mean, it, that's not an inaccurate statement about 2015. No, no, that's true. Remember in 2016 when a bunch of celebrities died and everybody thought that was a bad year? I know Ooh. I keep bringing that up, but. <laughs> How wrong they were. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe that some bunch of celebrities died and 2016's gotta be the worst year, am I right? Is there nothing more you could do to us, 2016? My god. Four years later. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah. 2020 I- is just 2016 getting its revenge. Jesus fucking Christ! I don't need to see more signs. I want my Saurus back, for fuck's sake. Just there. There you Saurus. go. <clears throat> Where the f- do, you, do you think he saw us, Rex? 
Oh, oh fuck's sake. That's great. Oh, he, this he's is great. Friend. This is awesome. This is the guy. This is the one. He's taking us out. He's yeah. extra skilled. He knows. He's, oh. <laughs> he knows. He's never even got to put that one foot back down. Nope. <laughs> he spent the entire time step back one. He was yeah. so afraid. Just staggered. I, f- I feel nothing for you. No pity. Nothing. Um, I don't know. Like, it's really hard to, to, to think of anybody who's in, like, a fairy tale setting as selling anything. And it really it's really hard to see Roger Wilco selling anything. I mean... Cleaning products? Yeah. I mean, he, he was the hero of Xenon and mm. uh, well known as a... Uh... Yeah. As a janitor, he even won the Golden Mop award. Mm. Mm. That's true. That's true. He could sell cleaning products. That and he could to- totally do a You May Remember Me From, Saving Your yeah. Planet, winning the Golden Mop. Totally. Totally. All right, done. So uh, I'm pitching you this infomercial idea, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Starring Jared and Jake Wilson, they're oh, pitching no. to you the American Dream. Oh, you know, with it being back in the fucking Wild West gold rush, it would have been like cocaine gum or some <laughs> shit like that, though. <laughs> Al- alt- alternately, Jared and Jake Wilson selling scurvy. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Caught scurvy lately? Well, we can help. Limes. They're selling citrus fruit to yeah. prevent you from getting scurvy. Mm hmm. Those guys, they, they, they'll sell you anything. And they'll, they'll do, do the anything dance. for a quick buck. They'll do that dance. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there. That's that's the question. I'm sorry, the real sneakers, if that wasn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, if our sneakers aggressive. aren't real enough for you. <laughs> I'm sorry if that wasn't real enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh... Uh, Philip Weisman. Uh, Weisman. Am I saying that right? See you again, Philip <laughs> Am I saying that right? <laughs> that's what that. That's what the sound of that little uh, uh, B is, right? Squiggle. That B that yeah. we. Oh, it's, yeah. it's a double. It's a. S- yeah, it's, it's a squiggle B. Weisman. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure he appreciates what we're trying to do here. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure. All right. <laughs> With the show or the last 10 seconds? Uh, all of it. <laughs> Everything. The whole shebang. Uh, all right. Question for Glory. What Sierra character slash characters... Characters, yes. ...would make the worst, and which one would make the best podcast? Hmm... Well, I, I gotta say, probably the Goblin, the eponymous Goblins of the Goblin series would be the worst podcast, because they just make weird fucking sounds. <laughs> yeah. True. True. Um, yeah. That would be like a talk radio podcast of people playing the fucking mouth harp. I'd, I'd listen to uh, a Roger Wilco podcast. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that's top of the heap right there. Yeah, I think that. Or would be like good. you know the the two guys from Andromeda. Yeah, the, like the two the two of them and and him, not easy. Roger Listen Wilco, Cedric the Owl, and Hot Pencil. Hot Pencil. <laughs> 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 oh man, was that that wasn't you Pate though? That... Jailer Pate. No, oh, that yeah, is sorry, Jailer that Pate. Was, Pate. Yeah. was it Jailer Pate? Was is yeah, that I think it was like his dad? Like. I know that was... at, at least in the novelization it is. Yeah, so. it is. In a, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So we the know novelization it... which McGraw Hill denied us the opportunity to read on stream. Yeah, uh, McGraw Hill, uh, if you're listening, and I know you're not because you're one guy in a fucking basement. <laughs> uh, fuck you, and you're on our shit list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we might do it anyway. So eat us, right? Right, guys. Yeah, yes, going to war. I don't know what happened with this, but I'm going to agree. <laughs> I'm just extra <laughs> angry about it for some reason. Yeah, so that's, that's fine. Um, Keep going. for context, I don't think we if we ever really mentioned it. There mm-hmm. are novelizations of both uh, the entirety of uh, of of uh, 
Police Quest. Um, in the Police Quest casebook series of, well, in the Police Quest case, casebook book, um, they're the first edition having uh, novelizations of Police Quest 1 through 3, and uh, the second edition also having a novelization of Police Quest Open Season. Um, and also uh, a Space Quest compendium, I think it was called, that had novelizations of uh, a number of the Space Quest games. I can't remember how many of them, I think maybe 1 through Four. Um, which is great. And we were thinking, you know, early on in the pandemic that we would do kind of the same thing that, you know, some celebrities have done where they get together with their friends and they do readings of novelizations. You know, mm. uh, a lot of the times it's like fairy tales or whatever. But um, we were like, you know we're the we're the Sierra Saturday guys. Why don't we read the mm. Police Quest casebook like novelizations of uh, of Police Quest? And then great. if it does well, we could talk to like you know uh, like Trolls Playmare, the the Space Quest historian, and maybe you know I don't know Dan Avedon or something like that, and get a bunch of you know cool people together to read the novelizations of Space Quest as well, and like. In, in some fit of insanity, I was like, let's do this legit. I'm going to contact the publishers. <laughs> um, that was our first mistake. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, yeah, they denied us pretty. Yeah. Like, yeah. like just, just outright. Uh, it was like, we do not allow any of our book, any content from any of the books that we have ever published to be. Uh, you know, publicly um, performed in any sort uh, on a public forum like uh, like like YouTube, even though like the books have not been in circulation in over a decade. My, I have serious doubts that they were At ever least. planning on re uh, publishing these books. Yeah, um, at, at least like yeah, there's no like nobody is yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they Nobody's don't want us to bite into the sweet, sweet royalties that they're getting from this currently. <laughs> yeah. So, like, if, if anybody knows the author that uh, published this book and can get us in contact with them, there might be some kind of a loophole there where, like, we read their manuscript or something like that. But yeah. I don't know how far that would fly either. So, so it was um, it was McGraw Hill who was the publisher. So we. The one so who... it was an imprint of McGraw Hill, um, that I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, I can yeah. go and find the email, but yeah, it's it's an it's a defunct imprint of McGraw Hill too. Like they don't even create books under that imprint anymore either. Right, because they used to be. If I don't know if any of you watched this, but the Computer Chronicles <clears throat> with Stuart Chaffee. And McGraw Hill used to be a massive supporter of that show. Wow! No, I didn't know. Yeah, no. I mean they're they're all like they're they're educational publishing, right? Like they publish, um, uh, like not just like this. This was kind of an anomaly in their sort of publishing catalog. Most of the time, it's like uh, uh, textbooks and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's a shame. It's they, a hell of a shame. Yeah, it's a it's a real shame because I, I I would have loved to do that. The police that would have been a whole especially. lot of fun. Yeah, and then they just shut us down. Damn. Yep. Not even a not even a question or two. Just instant no. <laughs> we've got yeah. Well, like <laughs> we've got yeah. big plans in the works. If not even so like, much was, as a go fuck yourself. It's just a no. I <laughs> was was perfectly happy with, you know, potentially like spending money to license this thing mm. so that we could do this like out of my own pocket. That would have been fine, but mm. you know. Oh well, they lost. Yep. Everyone's I mean, lost, I mean really. like it's it's everyone's really. lost. Everyone, Nobody yeah, wins. everyone everyone's lost. No one wins. <laughs> yeah. You know. Hell of a shame. I we should get on Twitter. I bet you if we go to McGraw Hill and explain what we're doing on Twitter. Except I told them to go fuck themselves. It's too late. Uh, Did you? uh, Did you really? Yeah, I did. I did. Well, no, just now, like, like about ten minutes ago. This hasn't. We haven't released yet. This hasn't released yet. Just bleep it out. No, it it doesn't matter. It's out there. You can never take this back. (laughs) The minute it leaves my lips, that's it. (laughs) That's it. It's done. (laughs)
It's out there. I cannot as, be held accountable for the actions of myself. I'm as, flexi- <laughs> I'm as flexible as McGraw-Hill, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> I, I can't put that toothpaste back in the tube, man. It's out there. <laughs> you know? I can't put that poo back in the bum. Nope, that's out there. It's Couldn't you just done. use a straw for the, for the toothpaste, that is? <laughs> okay, what are you going to do? Spoon it in? What are you going to do? No, you... you you, you suck up the straw so that it's fill, filled with to- toothpaste. Oh. Put it in the tube, blow. Do that like ten oh. times, and holy you're shit! Done. Oh, you've got to you've got to be more flexible now, Matt. He's just Andrew totally... just just fucking dismantling our, like uh, our science that advisor. Is, that Andrew. is a famous. This works better with gel than it does with paste, but it works. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. This is a famous teaching tool that teachers use to show the consequences of your actions to children. What are you doing? You can't do this. This is gonna. <laughs> this is gonna ruin everything for these kids. But I guess. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Like you know, consequences. 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 I guess there are some people who are born with straws to put toothpaste back. In. <laughs> It's just those sorts of people. The natural. Yeah, there are there are people. I'm gonna go ahead and say rich people. Yeah. <laughs> people with time on their hands. Yeah, they they're they're born with straws that they can go ahead and silver straws. Put, silver straws. Put that toothpaste back in the tube. Yeah. Whenever one of those smug bastards walks by with a straw <laughs> growing out of their face, I'm like, Yeah. You lucky you... bastard. Yeah, I cannot tell you how much enjoyment I get out of walking by this fuck every time. God damn, proboscis having motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, so we're actually going to deal with the uh, with the Griffin next episode, but we are out of time. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, hey, hey yeah. we're we're out of questions for Glory, guys. Yeah, I, ha- I have an impromptu question for Glory uh, for for us. Oh. If, well, the, if the court will allow that, he, well, here a uh, a a question for Glory that is coming from within the house. Yeah, next it's, episode. It's wow. an inside job. An inside job. <laughs> it's not going to go well for them. <laughs> uh, wow, I don't know if we're going to deal with this. Uh, all Matt's right, guys. Gonna, Matt's going to shut you down before you can even ask the question. <laughs> so, so should we cl- should we cliffhang with with the question, or should no. we just no okay. no. We cliffhang with the idea of the question. I think that's enough. That's enough to bring people back. <laughs> we, well, it we doesn't titillate them with uh, with the concept that An- that uh, Andrew has a has an important question to ask. Well, don't well, I like, Matthew, don't I like your glowing Andrew. confidence in my question that you're like? No, nah, I think the idea of the question is like you know a better hit. <laughs> uh, honestly, like I'm gonna build this up so far, you don't even know. And then you're just okay. gonna shoot him right down. Tune in next time for Andrew's question. Whoa! For glory! A, glory! Whoa! It sounds like a movie title. Okay, bye everybody. It'll be an episode title. Yeah, that's true. <laughs>